Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Elvin Mark. You're tuned to my art channel, and we are back in the studio for another sketchbook tour. It's been a while, yes, but it is time right now to go through this book. Same book as we've seen before, Potante, and it's 300 GSM and 100% cotton. So let's do this right now. If you notice for the first few pages and the last few, because of the book ends, um, I'm always using inks as opposed to watercolor images because you know I'm just maximizing the use. This is a not 100% cotton and this and this it's not 300 um, GSM, so I just use it for ink sketches. So we are at EV Dance. It is a dance school in Singapore and I was invited to come in and sketch uh, the different sessions that they have there uh, during their open house to so come in and sketch uh, like this one and I tried to sketch it in a sequence. It was tough because she was moving really really quick. Uh, this one back here would be the owner filming a session while it's happening so that they can make content for their Instagram page. You can check them out at EV Dance if you're interested. Here we go! Oh yeah, so a couple more sketches of dancers doing their thing. And we're back here at the Plain Jane Cafe having a matcha latte. And just trying to get the tones correct, um, also the texture correct also on this to make it look three-dimensional. And yeah, some train sketches or commute sketches. This is a, a bench uh, that I found in some HDB in the Fair Road area. It, this looks very European, so I thought it would be really interesting to just give it a sketch. And uh, this is an urban sketch. I didn't bring my fountain pen. All I had was a fine liner, so I used it to make this sketch on Tolo Aye Street, where the mosque is, yes. This is regular class and uh, just sketching the students while they are doing a project. These are commuters on the train. These stickers are really interesting. It is when I go to school and they gave me this. This was during post lockdown and when we're given these to tell us that we're okay to enter a building so this is used as my date for my sketch uh, being invited to my friend's house and teaching the kids how to uh, sketch and also using the opportunity to sketch them uh, more train sketches over here sketching commuters uh, this one is uh, sketching people at a hawker center, but before I could start coloring them, they all left this table. Yeah. So I headed over to Grits and Circles for an Afogato Classic. Um, this is sketching a um, captain of a ferry boat taking a group of us to Pulau Ubin, uh, an island uh, off the coast of Singapore. And this is at the Bukit Timah Saddle Club. Uh, I had made an oil painting of a horse and at some time, so I decided, okay, let's use the time to make some watercolor sketches, pencil and watercolor sketches of these cute ponies and horses. And now uh, we're back at school again for my figure drawing sessions, but also at the same time, I'm sketching the students while they are sketching the models. And we are here at an urban sketching outing in Singapore over at Tangling Hall. They will be tearing down this place in about two years time. So we're just there to document the space. This is an old coffee shop or kopitiam. Some more students while at work. Uh, this is a continuation at Tangling Hall again. Uh, this family here sells roti prata or flat bread. Uh, with curry and uh, decided to sketch it from an angle. Remember, I love sketching behind the scenes and you can see the queue of people waiting to collect their prata. 
Uh, this was an incomplete sketch while waiting for a friend uh, over at the Bukit Timah Beauty Wall Hawker Centre on the fourth floor, I think. Yeah, and more student sketches. And uh, my favourite drink stall at Amoy Food Market on the ground floor. They serve the best masala tea. And I think uh, this spot here, unfortunately, it had my ink was leaking and it had dripped smack that right in the middle of his face. This was attending a Making Inks with Plants workshop. This is using the blue pea flower. By adding citric acid, it becomes purple. And by adding baking soda, it becomes green. Amazing! And for turmeric, by adding citric acid, it becomes very bright yellow. And by adding baking soda to turmeric, it becomes sort of an orangey red. And these are the two instructors, Shirim and Liz, of this workshop. Do follow them. Alright, so another train sketch. But I noticed that there were many of them um, who had a trolley or some sort of a cart or something in front of them. So I thought... Uh, of capturing uh, these people while on my short journey. This is having Vietnamese coffee egg over at Ko Chung at Plaza Singapura. It's really thick, it's really potent and it's served in a bowl with warm water to keep the egg warm. Alright, so we were invited to go sketch at a Hong Kong miniatures exhibition held in Singapore. I remembered that I couldn't attend that session, so I came on another day. This is a miniature of a Cha Chan Teng or a typical Hong Kong cafe. And uh, I was told that the artist of this model actually created himself within the cafe. And outside of the cafe, this person over here is Bruce Lee. Very interesting. This was the workshop that I had gone to and this miniature is actually this small. In fact, I'm gonna show it to you. It's, it's actually this big. Yeah, so that's, that's how big that is. And this is uh, a typical Kuei Tutu. Uh, and it's named so Tutu because it looks like a ballerina Tutu. It's all tapioca flour uh, served on a banana leaf and in there would be coconut filling with gula malacca or cane sugar. A friend's friend made pavlova and uh, invited me to come sample also to invite me to sketch. So I had some time and I made this sketch. And so did the Aussies invent this or did the Kiwis invent this? We won't know. <laughs> A long debate, so we won't get in there. This is another Hong Kong um, miniature uh, barber shop that I sketched from that exhibition. Yeah. And uh, this is sketching my friend's daughter. Uh, we all met up and uh, just find it interesting sketching um, young people in their school uniform that is so typical of Singapore. More train sketches and uh, friends sent some cakes for me to sketch so thank you so much for sending uh, these items during post lockdown in Singapore. This is uh, some rose and lychee that I thought would look really really good on a sketch so this is from Joe and Do uh, while waiting for a friend. And I uh, had a meal over at Le Petit Chef. It was just really interesting to see a miniature chef come out and serve you a meal. Very interesting Marco Polo themed dinner experience that I had with this moving character and projected images on my table. More train sketches. Uh, yep, train sketches. Uh, this was Walnut Bread. This is a series of uh, meeting older folks. So this is a Walnut Bread by Auntie Peggy. And this is uh, my friend's grandma celebrating her birthday. Did a quick sketch of that. And uh, having some 
Kueh Salat and Kueh Bobo Cha Cha. Uh, little cakes by Hari An's in this cafe. And I love their cakes because they're all well done. They really look good to sketch. You know how some menu items that you find does not look like what it is actually. But these guys at Hari An's, they make sure that the final uh, stuff that is served on the table looks as good as the stuff on the menu. So I thought, yeah, why not give it a sketch. More train sketches here, people sketches, pedestrian sketches, a lot more here. And this is back at Chateres, a Japanese theme cafe with really pretty cakes to sketch. This one is a strawberry baked cheesecake during the Japanese strawberry fair. And this, I remember it. Yes, it's at People's Park Food Center, but this was like the first day when we were able to walk out in the open with our mask off. And there were so many people that were just hitting the food courts and the markets. They were dining and meeting up with other friends and it was like celebration. A reunion of sorts with friends. Very heartening to see. And this was a cake made by Auntie Evelyn all the way from Penang. Thank you so much, Adrian, for sending it back. Fruitcake, this is the best fruitcake that I've ever tried. Usually, there's either too much rum or too much sweet, plasticky taste, but this was really, really good. So thank you for the experience and what a treat. This is uh, sketching at Badot North in a coffee shop, a food court while waiting for a friend. And uh, this time I'm back at Tamago N. And I'm trying their frothy egg brew. Just like the one at the Vietnamese cafe that I had earlier on, egg coffee. Yeah, uh, the other one tastes a bit more bitter, this one a bit more sweet. So while waiting for my froth egg coffee. It took a while because the preparation time. I was actually sketching Sushi Express which is across from where I was. And this is a staff not from Sushi Express but from GYG or Guzman y Gomez. And this was like the first time I think uh, I tried it in Singapore and it's really good. So definitely this will be one of my favorite eat out places. This is a taco. Yes more train sketches. I hope to be doing more of these as I head out more. And this is inside the GYG. They also have a glass where you can look into the kitchen. This is over at Orchard Central. She got really excited. They came out and they blessed me with lunch. Uh, French fries filled burrito. Yum, yum, yum. This is at Tai Chong, a famous Hong Kong bakery. And they are serving pandan flavored tarts. Usually it's egg tarts, but in Singapore and only in Singapore, they serve pandan tarts. Really, really good. And thanks Ella for the free meal that I had. This was during the walk that I did, uh, the Singapore Camino walk that I did when I was walking through Orchard Road. Alrighty, so this is visiting the glass house. Another uh, cafe in the Chimes area. And this is at the Holland V Food Market and Centre where I met a few urban sketches. You'll see more sketches in the following book. But this Katong Laksa for now. Which brings us to the end of uh, this sketchbook. This is just random sketches that I made. This was when I was standing in a line or in a queue while waiting to get into the Istana for an open house visit. And this is a busker, uh, Mr. Wee, if I remember correctly. Just random people um, on the trains. This was very endearing. Tired boy lying on his mom and uh, mom wasn't reading the book. Mom was so tired that she was also dozing off. And this guy was just doing his thing, not related to them at all. Uh, love to catch scenes like that on the train. So hopefully I'll be able to do more of these. Thank you so much for your continual support, for following my videos and for encouraging me on uh, Instagram, on Facebook or wherever you are. Um, this is Elvin Mark, putting out stuff, creating out art for you. 
Uh, until the next episode, people, everyone continue to be safe, stay safe. And if you're an artist, keep making art yourself to inspire those around you. Until the next one, ciao ciao.